What's up, G Mob? It's your boy Will Games215 underscore in the building. And today I'm here with Eden Zero, chapter 184, titled Ziggy versus Elsie. Um, last chapter, we basically learned that the planet Ziggy is inhabiting is Elsie's old planet. Um, and she feels like she's the one who has to defeat Ziggy. Clearly, we know she's not going to win because Shiki still has to have his confrontation with Ziggy to close out his chapter. Um, so without further ado, we're going to jump on into the, we're going to jump on into this reaction. But before we do that, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new and if you enjoy the content, I'm sorry, my camera is like focusing and then not focusing. Like it's just doing this weird thing. But I apologize. Don't forget to become a, a G mob member by hitting that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter. Will games 215 underscore YT. Let's dive on in. On the cover page, we have Elsie. In a bathing suit with an eye patch. <laughs> I see Urza. I mean, we know she looks like Urza, but like, not as thick, if that makes sense. So then we have Ziggy and Elsie's confrontation. King, she switches, and she um, charges at him, and he goes, "Woom, huh?" And she slashes him. But he dodges it. Or not dodges it, but I think he clashes with it. What does she have? Is that a sword? I think it's a sword. Boom. She does a flip. She kicks him and he goes like this. And brings her down with the gravity. Oh, shit. Everything around him. And he's he's now we're seeing him use gravity to affect her and everything this shit is lit off the rip bro. Right off the fucking rip it's a lit like like they're fighting like they're fighting like they said no words it was just on site hands fucking thrown like we have yet to have words like there's like no it's on site oh and i see elsie's ether gear through her eye patch i see ziggy's using his ether gear but i i don't see like the which is something that's really interesting that they're hiding. They're hiding Ziggy's um, ether gear pattern. I feel like they don't want us to know that it is Shiki or something. But they're hiding his pattern. His ether gear pattern. Interesting. And so he uses that. The gravity around him. He throws the pillars at her. She dodges it. And she gets hit by the last pillar. She jumps back up. She slashes Ziggy. Kakrink. Whoosh. To think that little girl would grow this strong, says Ziggy. I'd expect nothing less of the Erosion Sace Galactica. You are indeed the equal of Crow and Ek Noella. Then Shiki is now equal to you in power as well, says Ziggy. I haven't sparred with him in a while. But some months back, he was almost at my level. So, uh, Elsie and Shiki have fought. He showed me just how strong a person can become when their desire is to protect. I see, says Ziggy. Shiki meant so much to you before, says Elsie. I can't believe you changed like this. That was not the real me. I lost my memories, and without them, I was an idiot. Enough to I'll say I lost my memories, and without them, I was an idiot. Enough to raise a threat to the cosmos. A threat to the cosmos, Shiki, says Elsie. He is the one who will destroy the universe. I feel like when he says that, I definitely think Shiki will play a part in the, the universe's destruction. But I definitely feel like he will unify. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, remember how they said um, all four, the Kaede, Aoi, Sakura, and what was the other one they did? Sakura Cosmos, the Aoi Cosmos, the Kaede Cosmos. There was another one. I don't remember what it was, but they said that those combined means Shiki. So I'm wondering if, what was it? Sakura Cosmos, Kaede Cosmos, 
Aoi Cosmos. I feel like I'm missing one. I would have to go back and re remember what chapter that was because sometimes I don't remember the chapters. <laughs> but they said like those Cosmos would be, if they were all one, it would be called Shiki. So I definitely think Shiki will play a part. Like I feel like that was definitely like foreshadowing that Shiki will probably like unify all of the Cosmos is what I'm thinking and create one. Because if Ziggy is so adamant about him destroying the Cosmos, I feel like it he will, but in a way where we won't expect it, I guess. For the better, maybe. And so Shiki and Rebecca are running, and they see robots. It's the skeleton army, says Happy. We'll charge through them. Let's go, Happy. Aye, sir. Kachink. And Rebecca is shooting the robots and Shiki is just destroying them like they're nothing. And they're still coming. That's an enemy stronghold for you, says Shiki. They're everywhere, says Rebecca. And she's just never. Oh, that's okay. I thought that was her. So that's Wise <laughs> and Homura just casually destroying <laughs> the robots. <laughs> and Shiki's like, yes. Over here, Shiki. Please, hurry. We shall close that door. So they're running, and the door is shut. Woof! Not that I didn't expect it, but that was a lot of enemy soldiers, says Rebecca. Sorry, everyone. Don't worry about it. Anyway, what's this passage? Says Shiki. Evidence suggests that this passage will lead us to the planet's core, says uh, Pino. I need not tell you that the inside too will be crawling with enemies. Brace yourself, says Homer. Homer looks different in this panel. We haven't really been getting that much Homer since the time skip. We've been getting a lot of Shiki and a lot of Rebecca. So hopefully we'll start to get more of the others like we were pre-time skip. So, yeah. So now we're back with Elsie and Ziggy and they're clashing again. Then, did you only save me because of your lack of memory, says Elsie? Of course. The real me would have never rescued a human girl. I see. That is truly unfortunate, Ziggy, says Elsie. And she throws her star sword down. Seven stars. Leave your mark. Grand Chariot. Boom, 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 boom. And he has the uh, wormhole ability that he got from Nero. I absorbed Nero's wormhole ability. I can move across space at will. I knew you would try to attack me from behind. Is this trap ether? Star drain. Lenard. Taste the power of my planet. Total eclipse. Ooh. Ah. And he falls over. And she goes to clash with him. And Elsie, run. Huh? Take Shiki and his friends and go far away. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to answer a phone. I had to pause the recording. He says, take, he says, Elsie, run. Take Shiki and his friends. Go far away. Huh? You. Aww. He tricked her. And I feel like there's supposed to be a panel here. So I'm going to refresh. I'm going to refresh. Okay, so there's panels missing. So let me go to this website. Because I can clearly tell something else is supposed to happen. And the new chapter is not even up on this page. All right. Bet. So what we're going to do is. Uh... Hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh...
Um, let me click on this because this is the missing panel. It says slash. <laughs> that's what it is, Elsie. I don't know if that's the right panel, though. Because it says the last page is missing. Um. All right, bet. So what I'm going to do is. Okay, I had to pause the recording again because I had to go on Google and I had to search for uh, the missing pages that were the pages that were missing from the other site that I was reading. And now my camera is doing this thing again. All right. So he says, take Shiki and his friends and go far away. And she says, dot, dot, dot. And she's like, you, she had a flashback to when he saved her and he grins. And then slash. <gasps> That's what it is, Elsie. Is that the last page? I think this is the last page. Okay, yeah, that's the last page. Okay, so that's the last page. So he tricked her and stabbed her. So Elsie, I don't think she's defeated here. I definitely don't think she is defeated. Um, We'll probably see another chapter of them fighting. And we'll probably get introduced if we don't go back to the group in space, we'll probably get start to get introduced to who the people wise will f the uh, the four. Excuse me. What are their names? The four shining stars. The four dark stars, like clown and. Uh, all of those guys will probably start getting those fights and probably um, some minions from Echinoelia, Echinoella and from Crow will probably get like their minions introduced if Crow even has minions I don't know if he has minions um, or we'll probably go to space or we'll probably see more of what's going on here or like a mixture because Mishima's doing like a really good job of mixing like this part of the chapter is about this then this part is about this and then this part is about this it's doing a good job recently of intertwining the stories so we don't forget about what's going on only time he really really did not do that was in forista because there were times where i wanted the chapters to be about um wise and hermit and space when they were up against uh the doctor from hermit's past there were times I was more interested in that than what was going on on Farisa. Not that Farisa was bad, but I was more interested in that because it had like a backstory. It had back history. It had emotions behind it. But he did a good job of what's going on up here and then what's going on down here. And hopefully he can do that with this because he also did that with um, Nero, the battle on Nero. He did that pretty well also, so... And is there anybody else think the fight between Shiki and Shora kind of ended abruptly? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I'm thinking about that. Like, it's so random. Like, my mind, like, if I don't say what's on my mind at that moment, I won't think, like, I don't know. It's so weird. Like, I looking back, I feel like their fight ended, like, very weird. Like, I don't know. It's just me, though. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the chapter. What you think will happen next? Um... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, become part of the mob. Follow me on Twitter, wargames215 underscore. Um, the mob is growing. We are growing as a community on the Facebook gaming page. We are almost at 1,000. And on here, we are at 182. So hit that button. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell again. Facebook gaming page is on my YouTube page. My Twitter is on my YouTube page. Hit them things, y'all. Hit them things. And <laughs> I'm out. Deuces. I did not forget about Tower of God. <sighs> I don't know what it is about that. I got to 
get back into it because I haven't read it in a while. I haven't read it in like three chapters because I haven't reacted to it in three chapters. So too much is going on. Like I feel like that arc is dragging as well. Like it is what it is, though. It's not bad. It's not a bad arc by any means. Don't get me wrong. It's just Shu from Tower of God. He introduces way too many characters sometimes, bro. And I feel like you need to rock with, with the characters you got for this arc. Flesh them out. Make them die or not. Defeat, like, whatever so we can learn about them and just move on. Like, that arc is literally dragging. And he just introduced a whole bunch of other characters. Sometimes I'll be reading it like, who the fuck is this again? I don't remember who that... Who? 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 What the... Huh? It's too much. That's why I like Eden Zero because like the characters are bam. I know what I'm dealing with. I know what I'm working with. One Piece is also like that. But when Oda introduces his characters, they tend to stay through that arc before he introduces the new. And then we get to be with them for a while. It's, you know, it's cohesive. Even Black Clover is really.